Back, we have an exciting update to a story we brought you last year. A Milledgeville man, Milledgeville man started the new year with a new kidney and liver after being waitlisted for 16 months. Molly Jett paid him a visit to see how he's doing post surgery. That's right. After months of waiting, he finally had his transplant surgery on December 11th of last year, and now he's already back home healing and ready to share his story straight from the heart. Scott Brown's liver had been failing him for nearly a year and a half until he matched with a donor in early December. He says he's already seeing improvement. My smile is back and my skin tone is so much different. They said I, I had almost gotten looking like a ghost. I was so white. Doctors diagnosed Brown with end-stage liver disease in 2020. But during last year's ninth trip to Emory University Hospital, his doctor said what they were doing was not working. I had really gotten to the point of being sick that I just, I couldn't do anything. There were so many times that I got discouraged and, and frustrated because I didn't think my time was going to come, but it did. And in, in the very end, when I needed it the most, my, my transplants were there. Now he's already driving and visiting his friends. Since he's had his surgery, it's like talking to a new person. There is a, a new improved version that's making the rounds now with new purpose, new hope, new dreams, new goals, and a new strength. I just love life and I love this new lease on life that I've been given. You know, I don't know how long it's good for. You know, I'm still alive today and I carry that person's transplant organ inside of me. Um, and I'm very grateful, you know. <laughs> Brown says he doesn't know who gave him his new liver or kidney, but for now, he's just looking forward to enjoying life and visiting his daughter in Iowa. In Baldwin County, Molly Jett, 13W, MAZ News. And Mr. Brown goes back to the hospital twice a week for blood work and follow-up appointments. In the meantime, he wants to continue sharing his road to recovery with others on his website called transplantmiracle.com.